Speaker, I'm pleased to yield one minute to the gentlelady from Pennsylvania, Ms. Hart. Gentlelady from Pennsylvania, Ms. Hart is recognized for one minute. I thank the gentleman. I thank the gentleman from Ohio for allotting me some time to speak in favor of sustaining the President's veto. It's been a year since this House passed the Castle to Get Bill. And in that year, science, not Hollywood, uh, has helped us to debunk the myth of a promise for embryonic stem cell research. Hollywood supports it. Science created fraudulent experiments. Before last year's vote, they made arguments supporting embryonic stem cell research. They were coming fast and furious from our colleagues. During the debate in the Senate, the same arguments came. They cited Dr. Wong Wook Suk of South Korea and his research. Supporters of, of his research said that he had cloned a human embryo, that he had found a way to produce embryonic stem cell lines that could be done routinely and efficiently. What happened later? All of his research was debunked. The ethics of his research were called into question. It was revealed that his publications were faked, his experiments were unsuccessful, and the treatment of their egg donors was as ethically grossly appalling. Mr. Speaker, I urge us to reject embryonic stem cell research as the science is not there. Science is very successful in treating uh, patients using adult stem cells and cord blood stem cells, which we agreed General to Lady fund and the President expired. signed, and I believe we should support that, and I yield back. General Lady's time has expired. General Lady from Colorado. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Of course, the General Lady from Pennsylvania refers to the South Korea experiment, which was not embryonic stem cell research. Rather, it was uh, somatic cell nuclear transfer, not, not at issue today. And furthermore, it only points out why we need federal oversight and ethics in the United States. With that, Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to yield two minutes to the distinguished General Lady from Connecticut, Ms. DeLauro. Ms. DeLauro, General Lady from Connecticut, is recognized for two minutes.